Today, we're diving into the funniest and most insane moments of Karens causing chaos at Walmart. Picture a mix of stand up comedy, a roller coaster, and, well, Walmart. That's what you're in for. Buckle up, hit subscribe, and let the Karen madness begin. Karen is up to her usual antics, harassing a poor store worker. The worker finally snaps, screams right back at Karen, and even starts throwing things in frustration. Karen's going off on a lady in the store, yelling and dropping curses. What's crazy is she doesn't even stop cussing when the lady's kid is around. Noise is irritating. You can put that on Facebook. I'll stand by. Actually, I can go Facebook Live right now and tell everybody how aggravating it is. I was being nice. Okay. Let me talk with manager. Please tell the manager that I tell. This cop has a warrant to arrest this guy, but the dude starts resisting and even fights the cop. And if that's not enough, his family joins in, trying to make the cop look like the bad guy, when all he's doing is trying to do his job. Pay for busting my window out. You're paying for busting my window out. It ain't even that damn thing. You got a warrant. You got a warrant. No, he's not. 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 No, P.L. on video. What? What? Pay another one. They need to fire his ass too. What? Yeah. What? You don't got a warrant for him. He didn't need to be fired. He think he's so hard. This is happening. What I got a warrant for? They got out of hand. And you forcing me? You kicked my door in. I got something for you. Just go around. Why you don't bust my window out? You're paying for my window. You're paying for my window. What I got a warrant for? I didn't bust your window. Yeah, like he didn't kill somebody. He don't know. You don't push me in my chest. What he got a warrant for? He don't know. What do he got a warrant for? He don't know. Cause he don't know. He don't have a warrant. He don't know. Get off of me. Bro, I'm not even going nowhere. This is crazy. No, I'm not getting on the ground for you. He's just mad about Jada. You push my guy. You crazy. Look at it. Who's not gonna do it? I mean, that's personal, honey. He's got you to tell him what he got to work for. And he busted my car window out. Man, Chelsea, I'm calm. How he bust your window? I was sitting in the car this morning. Why did he bust my window? I was sitting when he came over. Busted with his hand on his hand. Oh, my goodness. Man, I'm listening. I can't wait. I'm filing a report. I'm filing a report. You bust my window. I am. I know it's fine with you. You bust my window and you're going to pay for it. Let me go. Okay. You're going to pay What's the word for it out? What's the word for? He not. He not. They not going to tell you. He don't know. He not going to tell you. He said that. He said that was confirming. Why they ain't confirmed it yet? Ain't nobody done nothing. He busted my window down. I want it. I do not got no warrant. They busted his lady window. Man, let me go. Tell Ivory. Tell him let me go, bro. I'll put my hands in my window. Okay. For you. Okay. For you. Stop, stop, stop. I got it. 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 No, it don't. You don't want to be ready to pay. You need to do something with that. Yeah, out of order, all the way. I wouldn't leave. You need to make a report. I would not pull out of here with another officer. Do not. Get his phone number, report him, and everything. Get his number on his badge and report him. Mr. Kara needed help at the store, and a worker said someone would be there in a minute. But Kara decides to harass and film her, asking for a manager over and over. No matter what the worker said, Karen kept going until the poor worker lost her mind. So I'm in Walmart on Washington Street. I asked this young lady to find me a manager. I asked this young lady to find me a manager and because I need some help. But she won't find me a manager. But I'm asking for help in the radio section. I, I called someone to help you. What else do you need? I asked you for a manager. Okay. And you told me you don't know who the manager is. He's insisting on a manager. He just needed help in automotive, but now he will not leave me alone. So I want to get her on camera Go ahead. so I can report that she would not even help me. 
I called someone where you needed. You asked. I asked for a manager. manager. You told me you don't have one. I told you I don't know who it is right now. And I asked for any manager. And you told me you don't know. And you're not really helping Can me. You leave me alone. Yeah. Leave. Stop harassing me. I'm asking for a manager. And y'all see what she's doing. So. Stop recording me. I'm going to get her. This is help. This is Walmart's help. That's Walmart's help right there. This entitled Karen is blocking traffic in the parking lot by driving the wrong way. When security and others ask her to move, she goes nuts and starts screaming at them like they're bullying her. Karen, you! Oh, you! Keep driving. No, no it's driving. not enough! Park your car. Keep no! Driving. Like, what the hell? You better get the f away from me. No way! You. We have a car. We have, this is a road wheel over here, man. Can you please move Everyone the car? Everyone better stop f yelling at me right now. So I'm not f moving. Can you please move your car? Thank you. The same thing to a f car owner. Park over here. Okay? I don't listen to you either. Listen, you short f piece of That's the water. Okay? Grow some. Oh, man. She told me I'm short f piece of Grow some f balls, baby. Grow some f balls. Up no, I'm not moving. Back. And she over what? That f said she was gonna punch me in the face. Go That's my night. Everybody, can you please night. move your car? He just is okay. Okay. Going to next song. We can talk about it. This mother needs. Okay, you don't need my hair. Set because using the f that word for me. I've had a f enough. Can you please park over there? You. Listen you to you. Listen to you. Heard you. Song? No, no, not fair enough. Please. You can talk all the f you want. All you. Hawaiians, okay. the white ladies f***ing crazy. You can talk all the f*** that you want, you f***ing mother Karen is having a total meltdown in the store, screaming like a wild animal and going at it with a worker. It's like a wild ride in there. This Karen is causing a scene in the store, arguing with the lady. When the worker asks her to leave, she flat out refuses and acts like she's the victim of racism. The line is right here. Everybody here. Everybody here. Yeah. Everybody here. Everybody here. Everybody here. Everybody here. Everybody here. Everybody here. Everybody involved needs to leave my store immediately. Ma'am, leave. That's fine. You, you ain't saying nothing. Everybody go. Well, they're being hat dog. No, I'm telling them to leave as well. She's finalizing this transaction. Oh, she's not supposed to she get to do her transaction. I can't, I can't no, hold that money. money. I can't hold that money. Well, I'm, I'm waiting. Ma'am, ma 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 you don't leave. Well, they, have so many okay, so they, 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 were, are, they started for me and you let them leave. They're and they're in my store. That's why they're going to. But they finished their transaction, though. They finished their transaction. Don't talk to me. Child, please. Fuck all that. Y'all get that ass wrong. You let her finish her. That's because they was white. That's all. This Karen made her kid climb on the car to grab a shirt that she couldn't reach. After that, she's dumb enough to pull the car with the kid still on top of it, and the poor kid falls and starts crying. Some ladies step up to confront Karen for bad parenting, but guess what? Karen starts screaming at them. Yeah. Yeah, and I 
I just told you. No. Esther, no. I just told her to sit no. down. No. Shut up, because no. I just told her to sit no, down. You didn't tell her. No, yes, I did. Ask her. Ask her. No, you didn't. Ask her. We got it on video. We got it on video. We got it on video. Ask her. Ask her. Ask her. Ask her. Ask her. Ask This worker has reached her limit. With the store treating her and the other employees like trash, she stands up, calls out every bad co-worker on the mic, and quits her job on the spot. Attention Walmart shoppers and associates. My name is Beth from Electronics. I've been working at Walmart for almost five years, and I can say that everyone here is overworked and underpaid. The attendant policy is bullshit. We are treated for management and customers poorly every day. Whenever we have a problem with it, we're told that we're replaceable. I'm tired of the constant gaslighting. This company treats their elderly associates like shit. To Jared, our store manager, you're a pervert. Greta and Kathy, shame on y'all for treating your associates the way you do. I hope you don't speak to your families the way you speak to us. Shout out to Kamonique, Patty, Shardell, and so many more. Walmart doesn't deserve y'all. manage it and this job, I quit. This Karen worker is treating a customer like garbage because they're using a mobility scooter. She uses the little power she has to flex her so-called authority over him for just using the scooter. Stop talking and listen. I'm allowed to record whatever I want. No, you cannot. Yes, I can. I can record wherever I want. What are you talking about? Just stop. Why are you in the cart? Look at my knee, man. I, I explained to him. And it hurts. Okay. Are we supposed to give an explanation you, for why he's in the car? Are you? Did you have somebody standing on the back of it? Okay, I didn't realize that though. But okay. I paid for my stuff. When, when, I don't steal. When and second of all, I wouldn't be on the car if I didn't need it. Okay. And I'm not doing anything. Where's though. your car? It's outside. Where? In the parking lot. That side or this side? I'm using the restroom, ma'am. Okay. I'll wait and I'll help you. Can I have my ID? Like, there's no need for you guys to do this stuff. You realize this This is like weird. Okay. Because I paid for my things. No, I paid for my things. If these aren't able to be used by a person that. I'm not. It makes no. Absolutely have I no sense. I stopped you from using it. You just told me. You just checked me. Like, if I'm stealing I did, these things I, and I paid. No. And I'm you checking, saw my ID. I'm checking your age. You think the man didn't check it when, when I wrote it? How would he have been able like to it makes buy them? No sense, man. Honestly. Okay. If he wasn't 21. That was so unnecessary. Yeah, you're just bothering me at this point. I have done nothing wrong. Will you call Coach Malik? Yeah, you should I call him, actually. Anything. It makes no sense. Bro, just go, bro. Just, just go, bro. Just go, bro. Just get out, bro. Let's go, bro. It makes go, bro. I haven't done anything. Just go. Karen is throwing threats and arguing with a family in the store. And guess what? She doesn't care that her kid's nearby. The cussing just keeps coming. Let's go, Luke. Let's go. He's PC, bro. He's banging on me and cold. PC. You're a you PC. You're a 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 PC. This guy loses it at the pharmacy workers when they refuse to accept the coins for payment. He's going back and forth, arguing with the workers about it. So I can't get my medication because you don't take American money. Is that what you're saying? You don't take American money? Because that's what it sounds like you're claiming. So you can't take American money. <sighs> Fucking ridiculous. It's American money. You give it back in change every day. 
What is so hard? Ridiculous. I saved my ass up to get money to buy medication and you won't take it. Not everybody is rich, you know. Not everybody has a credit card. This is money. It's taken at every bank in the United States. It's taken at every business in the United States except apparently Walmart. Walmart doesn't take American money. That's what you're saying. You just turned down American money. You're saying it's worthless. Bye. Uh, if you got money, they won't take it. These Karen workers in the store racially profile this guy and treat him poorly. When he films their bad customer service, they act like he's the problem and ask him to leave, saying he's trespassing. So, is there a general manager named Chad that works for the, at this store? Can't record in the store. I can't record in the store? Why can't I record when I'm getting bad, poor, poor customer service? You're seriously telling me I can't record when I'm getting poor customer service. You were telling me that I have to leave without my without my my purchased items. You were telling me that you're going to escort me out of the store store before I got my purchased items. That's what you said. No, I did not. You did not say that. Your items and leave the facility. Okay, so now I am able to leave the facility with my purchased items. That's okay at this point. That's okay. That is okay. You're not willing to work with me anymore. So Chad is the general manager of this facility. Is Chad the general manager of this, of this facility? Did you pay for this? Juice? I did pay for this. I paid for all the juice, yes. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave, and can you tell me why? Why would you like me to leave? Because I'm being trespassed. I'm, I'm being trespassed. I'm being trespassed in the store, and they've asked me to leave, so I'm going to leave. Thank you. Awesome. Much appreciated. Thank you. Joe will not give his last name, and Melinda will not give her last name, and what was your name? And security. Oh, just, okay, thank you. Securitas, private security, who will not give their name when asked by a customer if I could have their name. Great, thank you very much, I'll appreciate it. I'll appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm being followed out of Walmart as if I am a common criminal, and I appreciate that as well. And I have trespassed, therefore I am to be escorted. Oh, I'm not gonna be escorted. This guy totally freaks out when a woman cuts in line, and he goes nuts, demanding to bill his item first. Even though the woman says sorry, claiming she didn't know he was in line, and the worker is all polite about the situation, but he just decides to harass them and cause a big scene. Uh, so look, I was standing here waiting to pay for this stuff. Okay, I'll, before I'll no, no, but listen, I was standing here waiting before she walked up. Uh, okay, and that's, she just walked right in front of me. That's fine. I'll take care of you. No, no, listen, but why are you taking her in front of me if I was here first? You weren't in line already... No, 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 I was so in line. I was I waiting before you. Listen, I was waiting in front. Okay, I apologize. I didn't know. No, no, listen, okay. I, I'm in a hurry to go. Please, okay. Joshua, listen. Okay. Listen. And you see, you see me waiting there, and I, I talked to you before okay. you even started any, any of this okay. transaction. I've, I've got the transaction. Joshua. I'm just going to But can, can you please? I can't. I'm, I've already started. But, but it's, I, it's I already gonna, asked you before you started. You're, you're, I already asked you before you started, Joshua. Gonna, you, Hey, man. <laughs> but, but but why would you do that though? <laughs> you just, why, I mean, why would you why would you uh, scan another customer right in front of me? And I seen I you with your head down. But why why would you do that though? Take, so it, am, is she more important to me? Um, is is that what you're saying? I was here no, in front of her. I'm not saying. That. Is it, it, you guys see me standing here too? No, I thought uh, you were just know, waiting. We I didn't know, know you were in line. line. I just came up here. Well, this stuff I was, I've been wait, I was waiting before you guys. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. telling you. Well, I'm telling you, I was in line. Okay. Well, yeah, if it's I mean, how would you guys feel though? How would you guys? Wait. I would just. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So we we understand, but I'm I'm just saying, how would you feel though? I was waiting before you guys. You guys just walked up. Exactly. No, I'm not making a big deal. I'm just saying. You are making a big deal. It doesn't take two minutes to just wait for me. Like, no, no, but, what, but why would I wait if I was standing here before you? Just, I didn't know. And no you guys see me standing here. It was an here. accident. I did not see you. I just walked up here because I've been All here right, for like two hours. Toast 52 and 13. <laughs> so what do you have to say for yourself, Josh? Uh, is, is that the way you do business? Would you like Here to at this Walmart out? in Lawrence, Kansas? I'm just asking. I got the whole thing recorded. That, that's you know, it's, fine, man. Is that how you do business? <laughs> is that you just take other people in front of other people? You see me waiting there. No. That's uh, not what I'm saying. I'm asking you if you I'm want ready, to Yes, check I am ready to check out. Okay. This teen decides he's done and quits his job with a rant over the loudspeaker. He cusses about how bad they treat their employees and quits his job right then and there. Uh, attention all shoppers, associates, and management. I would like to say to all of you today that nobody should work here, ever. 
Our managers will make promises and never keep them. And not only that, they will preach to us about how they care about their employees. But about a month ago, my boss, assistant manager Cora, called me a waste of time and management did nothing to help. Management will also try and save money every step of the way, including cutting benefits of a, a full-time associate down to down to part-time, even though he worked 40 plus hours a week. I've been a loyal employee here for over a year and a half, and I'm sick of all the <laughs> bogus write-ups and my job. <laughs> management, <laughs> this job, and <laughs> Walmart. Karen loses it over a long line, goes off on a worker, and demands to see the manager. But here's the kicker. She decides to take it up a notch by throwing around threats, trying to act like she's some kind of tough gal. I want to talk to the store manager now. Well, we got Karen goes wild in the store and wrecks everything in her sight. The aftermath of the store looks like Godzilla paid a little visit. Don't the reboot. Yeah, I love that. No, who wants to? Fucking embarrassing. This guy heads home only to find out they forgot to pack the wine he bought. He heads back to the store to confront the workers. Even though it's on their register that he bought it, they hesitate to give it back because he shredded his receipt. When they see he's filming their bad service, they kick him out without giving a refund. Here we are, we're going to Walmart here. It's just here about 30 minutes ago. The girl did not put a bottle of wine in my bag. Simpletons who work at Walmart normally don't pay attention. After speaking with three people on the phone, I was told to come back to Walmart so a manager can look at the camera. So let's see how this goes. It should be interesting. 
Okay, you got the person here who I spoke to, three different people. Spoke to me. Spoke to you, and after the third person, I finally had enough. I shred my receipts because one time I was in Walmart, my Walmart card got used in Arkansas 30 minutes or 40 minutes after I used it. So there's a security problem here. Now we're talking about an $11 bottle of wine. I use my Walmart credit card, which I carry a nice balance on, shop there all the time, don't have the receipt. Someone, the last person I spoke to said that um, we're going to look at a security camera for an 8 or $9 bottle of wine or a $10 bottle of wine. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So Why let's see I what we can that? do here. Yes. Why do I say that? Because, because of the, according to our policy, anything to do with the law, got to have a receipt right here. I, I'm sorry. Anything to do with what? Tobacco and alcohol may only restore the purchase with only the receipt. Okay, well, you guys figure out how you want to give me back the bottle of wine that the girl didn't put into the bag. It's not my responsibility to start twirling around bags every five minutes with 15 people in line because you guys only open up two registers. She's the one. You do remember the wine, right? Yeah. Did he left it here? Yeah, I think so, but it was more than him who bought, bought wine, but yeah. She? Is the, the one left, got left behind, which was power out. So there you got somebody right there writing it in a book, and, and, and I'm being accused. Do you have a receipt, sir? Nope. Receipt was shredded. I shredded in the shredder because the last time sir, I was... can you stop recording, please? Why? Because I, I'm asking you to. Okay. Are you going to refund the bottle of wine that the girl I'm just admitted? I'm it to you. I'm asking if you have a receipt. No. But I use my Walmart credit card, and it's right here. Okay, you can speak to the manager and tell her you don't have the receipt, and she will let you know if you didn't have it. Where's the manager? She'll be up in a few minutes. Fine. Stop recording. No. Okay, then you're not going to get your wine. Oh, really? You're telling me that you're not going to get something that I left behind? That this Call who? Call the who? recording right now. Who did you say to call? You guys are done, because it's going on YouTube right now. Going on YouTube. Walmart just cheated me out of a bottle of wine. They just admitted that they uh, found the wine that I left behind, and then that manager said she's gonna call the police on me. Watch now. This old guy freaks out when an employee checks his cart and receipt. He goes on arguing with them, and just when you think it can't get crazier, one of the employees calls him names, and he completely loses his mind. Okay. Why, 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 why? Karen tries to leave the store with stolen stuff, and when workers stop her, she goes nuts, threatening to sue if they touch her. To top it off, she even has the audacity to kick one of the workers. You are. I'm recording.
This guy totally freaks out when the workers won't accept his return. Even when they show him the policy, he decides to cause a scene before leaving. See, she don't have to follow corporate policy. She can do what she want to do. I never said that. So what did you say, Teresa? What did you say? You said corporate, you don't have to follow corporate policy. That's exactly what you said. So what did you say? So what did you say? Oh, okay. It's a guideline. She don't have to follow. I can do whatever I want. Stop putting words in my mouth. Okay. Well, we, I got it on tape, so it's okay. You can replay it because I never said it. I, I'm gonna replay it for court, but they're gonna replay it. Yeah, okay. And she yeah, being rude. Wrong. Right. She, she can't never find what she's you telling me that it's in here. No, I want you to show me. I'm not gonna Google it. I call here to come pick up those items I'm that you refuse to, to sell to me. I am not selling you to my Yeah, I was okay. Uh, corporate yeah, to deal with it now. Corporate can do whatever they want. And just like you can do whatever you want. I never said that. That's exactly what you said. I never said that. Here you go. Refuse the right to sell you whatever, you can read it right there. Walmart reserves the right to limit or decline returns <laughs> or exchanges regardless of whether the customer has a receipt. All non-receipt items are subject to refund verification process. All decisions regarding returns are subject to the And you're recording it without my permission, retains, so that'll never stop. Retains. This store, ain't this store recording? So I'm, I'm, I'm recording for my, I'm not finished, and I'm not so finished. You're done here, bye. And I'm not finished. And who are you talking to? Are you talking to me like that? I can't wait for corporate to get this video. Y'all are so rude and disrespectful. I don't know why y'all work in customer service. You should be working on the side of a train track that's like you built life. If these Walmart Karens had you laughing or shaking your head, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more outrageous chaos. And share with your friends, because why not spread the laughter?